I'm back and we are on to um, finishing our flowers. So I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna do some of these flowers in orange. And I absolutely love these Sharpie paint pens. They're really cool. Um, I got them as a gift. So I thought they were fun. Just got a couple more um, flowers to do. And then I think I'm going to leave the other ones to kind of blend in with the background. Aiden, I asked you to please stop. Alright. And I'm going to leave my butterflies as well just because I don't want them to kind of lose interest. So now I need to figure out some inspiration for words. Normally what I'll do is I'll go and I'll find something on Pinterest for my wording or I will search for something in a magazine. So I will be right back. I'm going to find some, some words that I want to put on this page and then I'll come back and show you how I do that. All right, ladies, I'm back. Um, so I didn't actually go searching because there's been uh, a thing that has been speaking to me since I came up with our challenge for this week, um, and I use the word live, um, but there's been this other one that's been um, kind of stuck in my head, and it's dream in color. Um, I've been focusing a lot on my mental health and um, learning that it's okay to not be okay and stuff like that. So. I really have been trying to think of bright and cheery things and dreaming in color for me anyhow means, you know, living your life that you love instead of just living. So that's what I'm going to do here. Because it is such a bright and colorful page, I am going to make it dream in color. Um, so there's several ways that I do my writing on my pages. One um, would be to stamp it. Um, and then I do freehand some of my stuff as well. So I think today I'm going to actually stamp. Um, so I'm actually going to put my, my page aside for a second. And I'm going to use these fancy pretty letters. So we're going to go... Oops. I did it right. D... I'm going to do dream I'm going to do dream and maybe just dream in all caps and then rest normal alright so we have our word dream and there's my ink pad that goes with this it's not in there. Normally I have an ink pad just for my letter stamps, but I don't see it. So we'll just use this one, which is fine. So we're going to slap this on the page. And I want this to be the main focus, so I'm going to put it kind of like... I'm pushing really hard. There's something bumpy under here. I think I have something on another page that's causing it not to push down that well. Um, so you can see some of it's missing. But I keep this pen that is the same thickness of my stamps. So that way if I need to, I can just go back and kind of make it stand out and make sure that it's Dream. 
on two steps because I don't have two O's. So I'm going to do Cole and then O-R when I'm done. So I'm going to anchor the ones that I have on here. Can buckle to my head? Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. All right, now we got that right. That's not gonna touch me. I got it. gel pens which I love and I'm going to use a hot pink to draw I can't so hold on I can't so my dream oh no we're gonna uh the thing just fell off the track I'm not going over the black I'm just going around the letter make sure that I'm not at my time yet nope Either inside or outside, so I'm not kind of I'm not doing both. So we're popping out dream, and then we're going to pop out our color. And then you can see my stamp kind of messed up a little bit there, so I'm just going to make that darker. And then I might add a little more color to 
dream just because I want that to stick out the most. Um, If you guys don't use gel pens, I highly suggest using them. They are so fun to play with. You can do so much with them. Um, I color in my coloring books with them. I use them in pretty much every single journal page. So I use my gel pens a lot. Um, they're super fun. And I have a couple of different types of them. I have the souffles. I have the glaze ones, which kind of make things look a little 3D, and I have like just your normal uh, jelly roll pens, but I got them in the brighter colors. I didn't get the, the primary colors. I have the bright colors because, well, I am a colorful person, and I like um, bright colors, as you can tell. And most of my journal pages are really, really bright. So now you can see that dream has completely popped off our page. And I might actually, you know what, I think I'm going to add some color to our butterflies with our gel pens because, well, why not? And so let's color in our butterflies. You guys are really lucky. I am so shocked that my kids are being so good. And now they said something, they're probably going to start acting up. But they let me do this in three sessions without bothering me too much. All right. That looks pretty. You like it? So I'm going to pause this, um, and I'm going to finish coloring my butterfly because, I mean, I think you guys can gather how to color a butterfly. So I'm going to color this, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you guys my finished product. Um, so I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. All right, ladies, I am back, and I am done. So I'm just going to bring it in a little closer so that you guys can see the finished product. So it says dream in color, and that is my start to finish on how I do my art journal pages. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, um, happy creating. Bye.